I represent the first district and I like to tell everybody it's the number one district, but my district is made up of uh, Kingsport, Bristol, Bluff City, and part of Sullivan County. And of course we have Bristol Motor Speedway in my district. We have the corporate home world headquarters of Eastman from the Kingsport area. So I have a very diverse uh, district that I represent. Well, I'm a small business owner. Um, I have two small businesses back home, uh, a plaque and printing business, and uh, that keeps me pretty busy. Uh, my family were, you know, a small, small companies, so my family's involved in those businesses, and they help me keep it running. Most of the time, I'm either out in the community and, uh, or in my office at work. I decided I wanted to run for county commission took that on and got elected. I felt like I was making a difference in my community, so I continued to uh, try to serve in that role. I decided I wanted to try it on the state level, and uh, I run for state office and um, end up losing by 17 votes to our current senator, John Lumberg, who served in the House for 10 years. You know, most of the time that becomes kind of an adversarial type thing, but um, we became really good friends, John Lumberg and myself, our family are good friends. So it's very nice to, uh, to have that relationship between a house member and a senator. We work really good together. We truly like each other. So that makes a difference. And I feel like it's good for our community. Being involved at the local level, I, I seen there was a, a, a few issues out there. There was a few things that were happening um, that I, I felt like I, I could take my experience at the local level and provide at the state level to make a difference or to make things better, but at least understanding that I did not like unfunded mandates, that I didn't like some of the things that were passed down to us. I asked to, if I could be placed on the local government committee. I think that's the only committee that I specifically asked for and I, I got to learning a lot and I got to understanding how things operated. Cameron Sexton this year, he asked us, you know, where we felt like we could be most effective. And so I asked to be placed on local government and I currently serve there as chairman. I serve on three subcommittees that's underneath that particular committee, which is cities and counties, planning and property and election campaign finance. So uh, I get to see several things that come through those subcommittees before they get to the full committee. And so I like to tell my city uh, people and, and county people as well, you know, a lot of times we get to see things that are coming that could uh, positively affect us or negatively affect us. And I try to take those things and weigh them out. And I talk to my city managers and I talk to my county mayor and I talk to county commissioners and city council members, and I try to get their input so we can make decisions that positively affect our area. You know, I, I truly enjoyed my time as a county commissioner. Uh, I think, I, you know, that old saying, you get your feet wet there, it, it got in my blood. I really felt like I was making a difference for my community. Um, I felt like we were doing the right things to move our counties and cities forward, but I never will forget those times sitting there on the county commission for those three hour sessions, uh, debating, uh, you know, whether something need to be zoned one way or the other. I never will forget those. And there's not a, there's not a city councilman or, or a, um, a city mayor that's out there, city manager, county commissioner, that's not had those, Hey, my neighbor's dog's been barking for four hours. Can you do something about it? You know, there was a lot of hectic times in that but uh, there was a lot of good times that I look back on and, and I do miss it. I'm, I miss that because we got more phone calls. We received more emails. We communicated better um, at that local level because I think people think you're more approachable at that level. Um, and when you get to the state level, you know, we are so busy running from one committee to the next, dealing with one bill from the next. I mean, when you got 1,700 bills and you're trying to rip your head around that, sometimes you get so consumed in what you're doing and get, being at the right places and showing up for your events and talking to this individual, you seem like you're not as approachable to the everyday average constituent. And that's simply not true. I, I value nothing any more than to hear from my people back home. First of all, it's good to see them and to hear from them. But second of all, I can't do my job properly unless I, I'm 
I hear from them and I know their concerns and know how things are affecting them. I think I'm, I'm one of the very few, if there is anyone else that represents not only a portion of a county, but I represent two major cities with Kingsport and Bristol, and then a smaller city, Bluff City. So as a representative that falls into that category, a lot of times it's just a balancing act and, uh, and just making sure, you know, I wear my city managers out. When I see bills that, that I'm concerned about or I think is really good, I have their cell phone numbers and I don't care to call them at 10 o'clock at night. They need to get up and, and answer my question. No, I'm kidding. But uh, I, I literally do call them. I have a great relationship with Bill Sora, the city manager in Bristol. I call him a lot. It makes a huge, huge difference trying to make that balance. So I lean on him a lot. Uh, I have great city mayors. I have a great county mayor. And uh, I, I communicate on a weekly basis, if not a daily basis, a lot of times. Yes, as a state representative, it's an important position. And we pass laws and we pass stuff back down to our, <clears throat> our local areas. But as far as touching people's life on an everyday basis, those locals have that ability a lot more than we do from the state level. So my philosophy on things is to provide our locals with communication, provide them with the information that, that they can make good quality decisions and let them make decisions that affect their cities, their counties, their people, uh, and not so much mandate things down from the state. Now, there is times we have to do that. There are certain things that we don't have a choice in. But for the most part, my philosophy is let the locals govern the locals. I've looked through uh, a lot of the bills, but uh, as you know, a lot of there's a lot of caption bills out there, and we, we don't know exactly what those are going to do till we see the amendments that come through. We had a debate, several hour debate uh, about the other day was uh, electronic meetings for our county side. You know, as of now, we already have that approved for our city councils for the, for the metro sides. And I think most of the school boards or a lot of school boards have that ability if they want to participate. Looking at the data that's been provided to me, uh, it seems like those that are participating in those electronic uh, sessions, uh, their attendance for, their, uh, for the elected officials have went up and, and there's been higher attendance from the public because simply uh, mom or dad going home having to fix dinner for the kids and they don't have time to to run out to the local um, city council meeting, they can pull it up on their computer and they can hear what's being said and still be a part of what's happening in their community. So I think that's a big issue that we're gonna talk about and, and deal with. TML is, is great to work with. And I want your organization to know that the members you have here for us to access through the General Assembly, your lobbyists or your research analysts, the people out there that we communicate with on a daily basis, to make sure that we're accomplishing the goals that, that your organization has set out. They do a great job. They're here, they're accessible, and it makes my job as a chairman, not only as a representative, but as a chairman, it makes my job a lot easier to have people with the knowledge and the background that you have down here. And it's great to work with them. Appreciate your organization. My door is always open. If I can help anybody, please don't hesitate to give my office a call.